New Springfield Echelon. Let's run it. Hey guys, how you doing? I'm here at the gun range getting ready to test out the new Springfield Echelon. Now, this is not going to be a review. This is just going to be me simply shooting it, seeing how it feels, my first reactions. And uh, I just wanted you guys to see how it is to have one. First thing I want to do is uh, lube it up because this has not been lubed. Now, I have not shot this one specifically, but when I went to go buy one, I bought it the same day that it came out. Uh, at the gun shop, they did have uh, a program where you can shoot it for free, but they only gave you 10 rounds to shoot. Uh, it didn't have no red dot or nothing like that. So I only shot 10 rounds with one, but not this one. So uh, let me go ahead and get it lubed up and uh, let's see how it go. So me, I like to loop up all moving parts. So let's get this uh, magazine out of there. I'll just drop that for now. Go ahead and get this looped up. I like to move lube up all moving parts, me specifically. So get a little bit right there. Get a little bit on the top right there a little bit. Nothing much, just enough. To where it won't have any hiccups or anything like that and uh let's just get it going all right so we are ready to go so what i got on here is a hollow sun and i also have a um, tlr1 and uh we're just gonna see how it runs i got currently i got the 17 round mag in there it came with a 17 and a 20 it only says 17 on there but you are allowed i mean you are able to fit about 20 inside of that magazine so uh let's just see how it goes all right, my first initial shots. Let's rack one in the chamber and let's see how it run. Okay. Okay. Ooh, this is this is accurate. This is real accurate. Now what I've been told is that this gun is mainly built for duty purpose this is like going to replace the uh the glocks and the uh m &Ps, you get what i'm saying the uh the six and uh, i'm gonna tell you from the first couple of shots i'm loving it already oh yeah oh. let's get that next mag in there let's get that 20 round in there and let's run it. What I can say is that the recoil is not bad at all. Recoil is not bad at all. follow-up the follow-up shots it's like real smooth and easy like it's like it, it don't really jump as much as i thought it would let's see if you guys can see that oh that was the last round so with the first magazines the first two magazines out of my i'm going to run about maybe 200 a day just to get it nice and uh get some wear on there see how it really goes but uh I've always been a Springfield fan. Now, I can say that they almost lost me, and I'm going to explain why. My first pistol that I've ever bought that I personally owned was the XDS. That was the small one, only had maybe about 10-round magazine. Then I had bought the XDM, the Elite. That was my favorite. And then, eventually, later on, the Prodigy dropped. Now... I don't know about these other guys that buy Prodigies. I don't know what they doing off camera, but my Prodigy fucking suck. As of right now, it is at Springfield for the second time on its battery problem, going back into battery. I was very hesitant on buying this uh, Elite. I mean, buying this uh, Echelon. I was very hesitant on buying it, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give Springfield one more chance. And you know what? I'm glad that I did. Um, we're going to see what happens with the Prodigy when I get it back. 
But I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think that it's going to be in my possession for too long. I might just get rid of it because I feel like I wasted my money on it. And I'm going to just keep it real. So uh, let's load up some more and let's send some more downrange. Man, I was having so much fun with this gun. And I ended up forgetting to do a conclusion video. But let me tell you, the Springfield Echelon was one of the funnest weapons that I've purchased so far. Uh, I love how on top you can put any red dot that you want because that's something that I've always had problems with trying to get the correct uh, the face that you put on top. Even when it came down to my Glock, I actually had to get it uh, milled for the, uh, the EOTech red dot that had came out. So uh, that was one of the best selling points for this uh, pistol for me was that you could put any red dot on there that you may have. Um, also, I love all of the serrations that's in it. Makes it easy to rack back and forth. Uh, I didn't have any type of hiccups or anything. Man, it was just so hot and humid. And I was just running that gun until I had no more ammo left, man. So if you ask me, I would say it is going to beat the SIGs. It is going to beat the Glocks. And it is going to beat the MMPs. The second thing that I would say is, don't take my word for it. Go out, buy one, and run it.